In this episode of Safety Matters, we show you how the police department's power shift patrols the city during the busiest time of day. Plus, we provide tips on how to prevent brush fires during this hot and dry weather. So stick around and find out why safety matters. I'm Fire Marshal Kelly Kistner. It's been a hot summer, high temperatures, little to no rain, a lot of drought across the state. And so this month, what we want to do is talk to Battalion Chief David Odom about how we can prevent wildfires here in Frisco. Chief Odom, tell us, what does the city of Frisco have to protect its residents against wildfires or to mitigate those risks? In the city of Frisco, we currently have nine engines throughout the city, and we also have two brush trucks. One's based on the east side, one on the west side. Both are designed specifically to go off-road and to help mitigate those fires. Talk about what the city of Frisco has done across the state to help with the brush fires and the wildland fires. The city of Frisco participates in the Texas Interstate Mutual Aid Fire System. It's called TIFMAS, and we deploy across the state of Texas to aid other agencies in those fires. We recently just came home from being gone for over 40 days helping in fires across West Texas. What can the residents here do to prevent wildfires in the city of Frisco? Outdoor burning. We don't want any outdoor burning right now with the burn bans. Um, also, if you're doing any outdoor grilling, making sure your grill is operating properly. If you're doing any charcoaling, make sure you're disposing of your charcoals in a proper container and not in a plastic container. And we've also heard a lot about wildland urban interface, which is how we keep our property safer from the wildfires. What are some things that people can do at home to protect their property from wildfires? Absolutely. In the city of Frisco, making sure your yard is mowed, uh, your trees and shrubs are maintained away from the house, and also making sure you're watering properly will help mitigate any issues if there were to be a fire to keep it from running up towards us. I'm Sergeant Stephen Byron. The Frisco Police Department has a unique set of officers designed to keep the street safe during the busiest times of day. It's called the power shift. Sergeant Goodwin is one of the sergeants over our power shift here to tell us a little bit more about what they do. Sergeant Goodwin, tell me a little bit about the power shift and how they keep the streets safe during the busiest times of day. Sure. So the power shift is a force multiplier for the city. It allows the officers to help the other officers on shift during the busiest times of the day. The power shift starts at 11 a.m., ends at 11 p.m. Our busiest times in the city are statistically between 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. And that's the times our power shift are really actively involved with uh, assisting the shifts. Each officer has a unique niche that they enjoy uh, doing. We have officers that, are, that love DWIs. We have officers that um, like taking reports. Uh, we have officers that really enjoy helping out CID and the other departments. Between the hours of four and seven, what we'll do is focus directly on the shift itself. And then after 7 p.m., we go back into our um, power shift mode of being able to run warrants and you know, assisting the city in other ways. Are they assigned to specific beats or sectors? No, actually they have the freedom to, to roam all around the city, which helps out different districts. So if we have somebody who's sick or in one district, um, or they're low man because of training and that type of thing, our officers are able to actually fill in those spots and assist the, um, the district. Thanks for watching this episode of Safety Matters. Next month, meet a member of our traffic division and learn how they patrol the streets of Frisco. Plus, we'll head out to Frisco Fire Safety Town, presented by Texas Health Hospital Frisco, to learn some important fire prevention lessons. So please join us and find out why safety matters.